So I've made some cool things in scrap mechanic over the years. Some things each taking nearly a year to make and bringing the game to its knees. Like actually a couple frames a minute. Look at this, it's so silly. What, why does your game run like this, Axelot? Please fix it instead of making mini golf. Anyways, I've made my fair share of large animatronic creatures, but they all had one thing in common. They ran on controllers. Now if you know anything about animatronic characters in real life, whether they be pizza rats or... <laughs> They usually run on what's known as pneumatics. This means that their movements are done by pneumatic cylinders. These are pistons that extend and retract by the use of air power. The good thing about this is that they allow props to move extra fast and be more robust. Like if you get hit by a swinging metal arm like that, you're probably gonna get injured. This carries over to scrap mechanic too, because pistons can move faster and have more strength than bearings. So my plan for this build is to make a large animatronic monster man using only piston power. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so don't mind the mess or anything, but uh, over here. So this is an example of a large scary baddie that I made. This is the head of it right here. Built this working on the astral invasion ride with my pal Shrutu. This is the big mother alien near the end of the ride that lifts you up and yells at you. So I want to do something similar to that, like an alien creature, but maybe with like spiked arms or whatever. Here's an example of a working animatronic that's piston powered. This one, um, this one is a piggy. Big monkey guy over here, he's got his drums. And if I press this button here, he's wirelessly sent signals from the reader basically i have this card in here that programmed him each one of these corresponds to a different color so you just insert the card put that in there and then it okay you you, you have to hit it with a hammer a little bit hold on me any second now gotta line it up there we go should eat it up nicely so now if i press this button watch him go It's beautiful, isn't it? You can see the pistons being triggered over here. Scanning arm goes one way, and once it reaches the end, the second one scans the rest of the movements. If you look inside, it is all pistons in here. This is an example of a really compact one, but I think I want to make a bigger creature than that. Alright, let's start off with a base here. So he's gonna have to be walking out, and a piston will like push him down. He's gonna mime with his legs like he's walking. Let's get a good amount of pistons. So in general, the basic way to do piston movement is to attach a piston on a hinge to the end of the other hinge, right? And then once you press that, it rotates it like that, and you could have, you could do, there's a world of possibilities with this. Look how fast, look how fast it's getting the bit. I can, I, can, I can make it even go, wow, wow. I think I want him to like rotate, maybe. Just attach like a rotating thing here. So what I've made here is called the one-two thingy-majiggle. Actually, no, I don't think that'll work at all. No, hold on. That could, I, th I think we just need to extend it more. So now that both mechanisms are equal length, um, it should work. So, pushes it that way, that much to the right, and this pushes it to the... Not as much. What? what? There you go. That way, you have that, and you could even make this slightly double the speed. So while this one turns like that, that one turns like that. Perfect. So what's next? you might be asking. I think now would be a good time to add the leg movement. Having two legs attached over here. Uh, do like one of these. Right. Yes, thank you. Oh, perfect. It, it even overdid it for me. This is the torso tilt right here. Now we have a rotating leg. Cool. Now... You could imagine him walking like that, you see that? That's cool. Hold on, that would be- that would be rotating his foot back. Do we have to make this upside- did I make it wrong? I think- I think his foot has a swing out, not in. Yeah, perfect. More compact. More optimized. E efficiency. Perfect. Two wonderful working legs going in the right direction this time. We go bam, bam. Bam. That's a tilt right there. We could pretty much duplicate this, hypothetically. Good. Standing tall and scary. I can fly now. I'm just swimming through the air. Thank you for your cooperation. There we go. Way too much. Okay. Um, there's a mess here. What am I looking at? And there's no reason for that to not just do that. And then there's no reason... Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Left. Right. Up. This way. That way. There you go. Now, this should push down, making that go up. Yes or no? 
Yes. Turn the whole body right. Turn the whole body left. Then you got your bleh, neck tilt. You got your neck tilt back. As I, as I press that last one, it stabilizes. And then I guess I could have like the head be on like a bearing here, and then have like having having it just tilt back and forth. That closes it. Once again, doing everything upside down. Okay, so I want him to be a fierce little creature, right? That does that. Should go down, yeah. But yeah, that, that that's his jaw right there. Great mouth. Nom 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 nom. Have that go look up uh, right there. What's that? There it is. <laughs> Looks like a snake at this point. You gonna have some really wacky eyes. Usually use these for eyes. Might add like some silly little antennas that like wiggle around. Maybe even have it like that. Doing that. Alright, so next thing I want to do is I want to give him some kind of arms here. So uh, maybe he could have like freakishly long arms. I don't know if his legs should be this far apart. I think I might have to redo the legs because that's like that turning is absurd. I guess the next step is cause actually no, I think I'm gonna program him before I put on the stuff. Alright, so the way I'm gonna program it is gonna be kinda simple. It's kinda like what I did over here with the reader. I'm gonna count up all of the pistons on it. I'm gonna make one sensor per piston. I'm gonna have like a reading arm over here. Let, let's hook it up to logic gates over here. And this one is these. Let's let's color them too. Yellow, yellow. And then what is this? This is gonna be turn, um, right. This is a lot of pistons. Very nice. Great success. Like, how fast can it read? It's gonna have to be a longer thing, I think. And I guess I could stack these. Copy the colors once again. It's painful. To have to do this each time. So we start off with a, this lean triggering, the lean is the cyan, so this could start off default, he's hunched over now. Okay, yeah, that's quick, that's very quick. No, th this he, he still stays for a little longer and then he begins to, he begins to unravel, right? Let's see what I, what I just made. <laughs> he's very violent. I do want him to lean down a lot more, cause he's like he's like lunging at the person watching. <coughs> These are the legs, so they could they could alternate. But if I lower the read speed, like the pistons, then it's all like everything's slower, but. No, won't cut it for me. Alright, so I've made the animations here. This was uh, three uh, players stacked on top of each other worth of animation. I'm not gonna leak it and do the cosmetics and then the demo. I guess we're gonna have the pistons exposed up there, that's fine. <laughs> 